<laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome to the show, and it's time for our first guest. Now, we have an ambassador at large for medical missions for children, and she's Jeanette Barber. Welcome, Jeanette. Great to see you. And you're a part of a great organization. What happens is there are children all over the world. They need operations because of deformities. Yes. And you actually go to these children and you bring doctors with you. Yeah, it's absolutely. I, I've been working with this group for uh, a couple of years, and I am literally personally inspired by, by watching this. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I was in Rwanda with this group. They go to third world countries. Uh, as you say, they do free surgeries uh, for deformed kids. Mm -hmm. Really important to me, 93% efficiency on this group. Mm -hmm. 93 cents on every dollar goes to the mission. That, mm -hmm. I, that means so much to me. Mm -hmm. um, you said that your, your staff is all volunteer. Mm -hmm. uh, so is ours. Mm -hmm. um, doctors, uh, nurses, people that have you know full lives, they take their vacations, uh, and this is where they go. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got to go with them uh, to Rwanda. Wow. And it was, uh, you, you know, when, when, I, when I got to go, because we were doing uh, all cleft lip surgery, mm -hmm. and we, you notice I suddenly became a doctor. Yeah. But, uh, you do one heck of a job, I'm, by the way. Thank you, I'm great. <laughs> um, but when I went, I was, I was afraid, because I had never done this before, and I was worried that the deformity, I was worried about what my reaction would be. Mm -hmm. I was worried that they would see something in my face. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got there. Uh, we're three hours on dirt roads from the capital city. We get to this hospital in the town of Getway, and I saw the children, and I'll tell you, there was not a minute. You didn't even see it. You look into their eyes, and all you saw was mm -hmm. a child. Um, a child who was smiling, a child who, you know, you know, was just a kid, a now, beautiful little kid. We have some pictures here. Are these from Rwanda? Yes. Okay. Let's show a couple of these pictures here, because I saw them before, and it's, there's the, the child right there with a deformity, and then we have... Oh, uh, uh, that's little Musa Bindi. Musa Bindi? Okay. Yeah. And, and, and look at her afterwards. She is, that is literally, it takes an hour to do this surgery, mm -hmm. and the transformation is almost that fast. And there she is with you. Yeah. And I'll tell you what's really fascinating, uh, not even fascinating, it's heart-wrenching uh, to realize it's ostracism, it's, uh, it's cruelty. Mm -hmm. They don't really get to go to school. People are so mean to them. And when you realize that an hour, you know, I used to be really huge. I used to weigh uh, 275 pounds mm -hmm. when, I was, when I was a kid, and people made fun of me all the time. Um, and then, but I, w I was able to, to lose weight. These kids uh, are like that unless someone can help, and mm -hmm. that's why helping in the third world makes such a difference to me. You know, I just want to say let's have a round of applause for these doctors, because that's amazing. <laughs> Let me ask you, if somebody wants to help or get involved, what do they do to read about if, your organization? If you want to get involved, and I'll tell you, nothing will make you, it'll change your life as well, mm -hmm. um, go to our website, www.mmfc.org, mm -hmm. and you will find ways to donate. You will see where we're going on missions. You'll be able to see uh, three videos that I made in Rwanda of uh, a, you know a little boy that I, I fell in love with who sort of fell in love back uh, mm -hmm. with me. You'll see the work. You'll see the doctors in action. You'll see what this work uh, actually means mm -hmm. and every little bit helps I'll, I'll tell you if you donate $25 20 bucks mm -hmm. you know I, I did a thing I think this was just a blast um, you normally you're gonna go out to dinner in a movie with your friends mm -hmm. instead invite them over to your house uh, order a pizza and watch a movie on TV and get them to all donate the money that they would have spent on going out to dinner, mm -hmm. you'll have just as much fun, and then you know you make a difference. Um, and you can help these children. You help them. I mean, when you think about it, you know, what you spend on, you know, lattes and, and, and stuff, this way, if you donate this money, mmfc.org, uh, you make a difference in the world. And, and this stays with me all mm -hmm. the time. All the time I wake up and I know that these children that I saw, and I know this work uh, that they do, mm -hmm. and. We do need donations. We mm -hmm. need money to continue missions. But when you realize 93% efficiency, mm -hmm. the money you give is really going to make a difference. You're going to change lives. Let me ask you before we go, what's the next big trip for you guys? China. Oh. Going to China. Um, one of the things about medical missions is that they they go where they're needed and they, they go where they're asked. Mm -hmm. um, there was actually a woman. It was the Rotary Club in Situate, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And there was a woman there uh, who had been to China and had seen the need and uh, was able to work in China to get some funding on that end. It mm -hmm. always does come down to funding. Because yes. sometimes people go, oh, I just don't want to give money. You don't realize the money, the money 
is what's making it. Right. We have we have to have that. We 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 pack everything. It's it's like a, a mobile mash unit. Mm -hmm. We bring everything in big steamer trunks, you know, and, and, and boxes and you go someplace where there may never have been a hospital. Sure. We're in in um in Peru, we're in uh, I, you know what? Go to our website mmfc.org and you see all of the places mm -hmm. we go. But this it's, organization. It's fantastic what you guys are doing. You have no and idea. I just want to say thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much for having us. Jeanette Barber, everybody. We'll be right back right after this. Thank you, Jeanette. Thanks.